Hello everyone, we will continue the sales order report change request and this is our change request 2. Now in the previous video, we have inserted the records to the database table. We are giving a success message and yes, parallelly, yes, we should delete the records we should delete the records from the ALV internal table. Now, last part, which I forgot to write in the previous video. Now, you deleted the records. You are deleting the records from the ALV internal table. Just see if I will show you. Suppose we are selecting first and fourth record. Whenever we will click on to invalidate button, we have written the logic to move these two records to insert these two records to our database table. Yes. Now we have written a logic to delete these two records from our internal table also LT underscore final C. When we came for the first time, we have four records. We have written a logic to delete these two line items. Now, after that, we need to refresh the ALV. If we will not refresh, how ALV will display the rest of the two records? We have written a logic to delete the two records from the ALV internal table, but we need to refresh the ALV. So we will simply, simply write a logic to refresh also. It's very easy. We'll just see how to go for refresh and important learning. If you see our user command, our subroutine for user command has two using parameters. If I will go for this parameter, it is of this type. If I will double click, you can see we have a property here, refresh. So we will simply use this property to refresh the ALV. Important learning, important. So I will simply, simply write refresh. So I will simply refresh rs underscore cell field hyphen refresh. rs underscore cell field hyphen refresh is equal to capital X. And you all know X means true. It means we want to refresh. I'll check the syntax and I will activate. Now, for the best understanding, I will show you in that debugging mode so that if some confusion is there, it will be cleared into this particular video. I will write or I will put a breakpoint. I have put a breakpoint in user command. I will run. I will give the date. Suppose we want to invalidate first record and third record. It means for order number 77, we are going for line item number 10. For order number 78, suppose we will go for order line item number 20. I'm going for last record. I'm clicking on to this button to invalidate the rows. You all know user command called whenever you are performing the action on the buttons. What is the value? Invalidate. This is the function code which we gave. If condition, true. Now in this LT temp final, yes, if you see, we have the first and fourth record only. First and fourth record. First and fourth record 77 10 78 20 in LT tab final. 
This is the advantage here. We already written the logic for the same. Now these two records, we will pass it to LT underscore invalidate internal table. So we are passing through loop. Yes, we are passing to work area. From work area, we are filling another work area. And from this work area, we will fill the internal table. Now you can see in this internal table, we got the first record which we want to invalidate. Now loop will continue for second record. And we are passing the second record to invalidate internal table. Now in this internal table, we have the second record, 7710, 7820, date, time, user. So in this internal table, we have the two records which we want to invalidate. So internal table is not initial, yes, because we have two records. Now these two records, we are inserting to our database table. You can see size sub RC0. It means these two records inserted to database table successfully. Now you can see LT final. LT final has both selected as well as deselected records. Now we are deleting this and this. It means only these two records should left, should left. And this is our requirement because we moved this invalidated records to the database table. Now we need to delete from the ALV also. ALV with whatever the ALV is displaying. So we have written the logic to delete where select is equal to capital X. And have you seen? We only have the two records which we have not selected. Now we are going for refresh. Do not forget to refresh. Otherwise you will be able to see four or four only. Yes. Now we did a refresh. We have given a success message. Now I will do F8. Now you can see we have now rest of the two records only and we got the message also records invalidated successfully. Now if I will show you the database table, now we need to verify because there must be a backup. If customer tomorrow tell, okay, I want to check what are the invalidate line items. So there must be a backup. If I will go to execute, you can see we have the invalidate line items in the database table. 7710, 7820, date, time, user, everything is there. So what is the summary of this particular video? The first important power point do not forget to refresh the ALV because you are changing the data of the ALV. So after deleting from the ALV internal table, do not forget to refresh. And we check in the subroutine itself. We have a parameter which is of this type and we have a column refresh. We put it to capital X. After that, we understood each and everything in the debugging mode. Yes, data inserted to database table successfully and it is deleted from the ALV internal table also. In the next video, we will go for a most most important loophole into this particular report and then we will go for the logic of the same also. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.